Hi, welcome to Thiru Academy. Today we are going to see about simple Spring Boot REST application with exception handling. Okay, uh, here I have created that project already in uh, by using Spring Initializer. Here uh, we are using that Spring Boot version is 3.2.2 latest version. Okay, then next I am packaging as Comrade Thiru Academy. Then coming to this metadata, you can check and uh, here I have taken the dependencies related to Spring Web, Spring Boot, Satter Web and Lumbok dependency I have taken. That's it. Uh, initially Lumbok is not worked for me. Then I have realized and uh, installed Lumbok. Okay. Other than that, here I have created that application, right? Whenever we have created that Spring Boot application, by default this class will generate it at, the, uh, by, uh, at the, uh, Spring Boot application annotation by using that, okay? Then other than that, I have created that one controller class, that is home controller and another one is service class I have created, that is product service. One more class, product class I have created, okay, model class. And one more is exception handler I have created. In Spring Boot, we can uh, handle the exception by using the exception handler classes, right? Uh, so, that's why I have created one exception handler class and product not found exception class, one class I have created. I will explain you one by one, then we will run this application, okay, how it is working, okay. Here in home controller, I have created that one get mapping method, sorry, get all products method and one is get mapping by using get product by id, okay, single product we need to fetch, okay. Then we need to post our product, we need to save our product. Here I didn't configure that uh, database. In next video we will see how we, uh, we, need, we will configure database for this application. Okay. Here just I have stored all product information in one map. Okay. One more method I have created for update product by using at put mapping annotation and other is delete mapping also I have configured. Okay, see, we will see one by one. In This is the rest controller annotation. In general, in MAC, uh, I mean uh, wherever uh, UI we are using. Okay, in general we need to provide at the rate controller annotation in uh, Spring MVC, but here we don't have UI part, right? So, we are testing this application through Postman. This is a Spring Boot REST application. That's why I have provided a direct REST controller annotation for controller layer, okay? Request mapping, endpoint URI, I have provided like slash API slash products I have provided. Whatever we are giving, HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon a0 a0, after that we need to provide slash api slash products then only it will work otherwise it won't work okay it won't work in the sense endpoint uri uh, i have specified like that okay for uh, to provide that uri we need to use at the rate request mapping annotation okay within double quotes we need to provide that uri name okay simple in simple okay uh, product service. This is a product service class. I have created annotated with address service annotation to create that bean bean object for this class. Okay. In dependency injection, we have discussed about that. In the Spring internal workflow, also we have discussed. You can check in that video. Okay. Then uh, we are getting that get all products. This is the method name is get all products. For that method, I am using at the rate get mapping annotation. For getting one product or for getting all products also, we need to use at the rate get mapping only. Only the differences, we need to specify that URI part. Here, uh, for get product by ID, for this method, we are providing ID. 
forget all products we are not providing any URL. Simply we need to provide, I will show you. How we need to provide here is http colon slash slash localhost colon a0 a0 slash after that api slash products we need to provide for this method endpoint end uri should be like this okay for this method for uh, for getting product uh, for get product by id method we need to provide slash id we need to provide slash id we need to provide for get product by id method okay see here for get all products method we are returning list of products and for only get product by id method we are returning only one product okay see get, find all get all products how we have defined for i mean implementation point of view in service class okay here in find all method i have defined one array list see here list of products all products i have defined this is a variable name and here we have initialized with new array list and here one map i have taken map is a map of string comma product type i have taken we are storing that all products in that map uh, in general in map we will store key value pairs right that's why id i have taken a string only okay for example i am showing if you want you can take it other uh, prim to type also there is then uh, no problem at all okay then product we are storing here in product map initially this is a empty map okay no products in that product map here see i am iterating that product map and i am getting that product map dot entry set iterating then all values we are getting entry dot get value it is returning that map value okay then product see this product value i am storing in list returning all products okay see here we are uh, iterating that map whenever we are iterating uh, that map we are getting value right uh, for every product we have we have stored that value as product object okay we are getting that product object and simply adding that product object to all products this is a list all products is a list i am adding that product to list simply i am returning that list of products see this this is the way i have defined for all for getting all products at a time okay for getting single product get product by id here check optional dot of nullable i mean product service dot find by id if it is exists no problem it is returning product if it is not exist or else throw we need to throw product not found exception right i am throwing that product not found exception to handle that exception here my response exception sorry my response entity exception handler class i have defined okay this class annotated uh, sorry annotated with at rest controller advise for uh, for handling all rest controller requests that's why we need to specify at the rate rest controller advise annotation we need to define okay we need to extend that resp uh, response entity exception handler that's why i have used my response entity exception handler if you want you can modify uh, if you want you can use any name for this class also by extending response entity uh, response entity exception handler okay then for method we need to define right handle product not found except this is a user defined uh, method name only 
but but product not found exception we will get right whenever product not found in uh, database or else wherever we are uh, storing and getting right uh, that exception uh, dot class object we need to provide for at exception handler annotation okay at exception handler annotation for that annotation we need to provide dot class object whatever the exception we are getting we are getting only product not found exception right if we don't found uh, if we didn't find that product okay see here same way this is the method public string we are returning string handle product not found exception that is the method name and this is the class name product not found exception this is the class we have provided we have written right that is the class type we need to provide this is product not found exception this is the simple exception class okay see simple message i am returning product not found if you want you can write other also by adding uh, status code and all like that okay i just i am returning simple message here okay see or else through we are returning just new product not found exception okay uh, if product is available we are returning to we are returning product object okay i think uh, service we need to discuss if find by id yeah product is uh, whenever we are calling this endpoint from postman it is hitting that controller and then it is calling that service right in service if see in find by id right product we are storing all product information in map this is the product map product map dot entry set java 8 i have used dot stream dot filter entry here entry dot get key dot equals of id if if whatever the id we have entered that id is matches to the map of um, whatever the key we are providing right in map any match is there that this id is e equals to any product id in map if it is equals then map map dot entry dot get value get value we are getting uh, first first entry we are getting or else if it is not matching any product we are throwing that product not found exception here one more method we, uh, we can also use find any also is there but i am using find first method okay this is the way i am getting that uh, mapping object in map here in this way we'll get whatever the product we found in map we are retrieving that product information and we are returning to controller is the way get product by id method is working we are returning that product information next post mapping we are saving that product information into map simple from in simple from postman we are giving that product information in product we have specified that id name description and price we are returning that information and for to receive that body information we need to specify at that request body we are getting information in request body right that's why we need to uh, specify that at that request body annotation to receive that in uh, product information and we are storing this in product information in map sorry save see simply map dot put we are saving like that we are saving product dot get id as key and product information we are storing in map here one more thing we need to discuss i sorry i forgot to discuss here at the rate path variable whatever the id we have specified in endpoint uri to get that id we need to use at the rate 
path variable in path we are specifying right uh, that's why we need uh, we need to specify at the right path variable annotation to receive that id information okay then next put mapping how to update that product information okay we'll see now here for updating that product information or product information or any information in general for updating we need to use at the rate put mapping annotation okay in uh, whatever the url we are providing in that we are providing id information whatever the product or anything we need to provide that id right to retrieve that id information or product information uh, for that product or object we need to update with our new values then we will store it in db or something else wherever you want you can store it okay see for that here we have specified at the rate path variable for this endpoint uri is put mapping for this we need to provide that id information also and and in body we need to specify that product information also we need to specify to receive that body information at the right request body will specify okay so that we can get that product information whatever we have provided in body postman body also okay yes come down if we uh, Sorry, system getting slow. That's why. Okay. Here, here. See, ID we are getting in path. Whatever the endpoint URI we are specifying in that we are getting ID value. See, here we are receiving that ID product service dot find by ID method. Already we have discussed by using that method we are getting that product information. Okay. here we are using optional dot of nullable if any product is not found then we need to throw that exception right that's why we are using optional dot of nullable method okay here if if product find by id by using find by id if we found any product then come down here by using map object we are updating all those in product information here existing product object we are specifying for that object for existing object we are setting all the information okay existing product dot set id set name set description set price okay if if we didn't specify any value we need to check okay whether whether it is getting updated with old value or a previous value we need to check in testing okay we'll see that also okay here for existing product i am setting id name description and price then finally saving we have discussed already save object right by using sorry save method by using method we are saving that existing product into db or map here we are storing in map right in map we are storing that product information if any id not found then we are throwing that product not found exception okay finally delete for deleting any object in db we need to use at delete mapping annotation in path we need to specify id to delete that product information uh, to receive that uh, id we are using at the rate path variable and we are uh, delete by id method is available see this is the id here where we have all the information uh, in map right uh, if map contains key id if id is present in map we are simply we are removing that product from map okay here also for saving also oh, sorry in simple we are uh, putting in map right uh, we already discussed here yeah delete also fine right now we need to execute this spring boot application we will see one by one scenarios how it is 
working okay yes first api slash products also see initially sorry we need to run our spring boot rest application i am starting our application i didn't specify any port number and all default port number we are using see tomcat is started there it is see tomcat initialized with port 8080 i am using that port only see slash uh, we have discussed right http colon slash slash local host colon 8080 slash api slash products endpoint uri we have specified for getting all products see this the one right see i am hitting now get product this sending request we'll see what will happen this taking little bit time yeah it is returned empty initially see we have specified only map right empty map in product service see it is empty map right initially so it is returning empty okay then we'll get we'll get pro, we'll run the get product by id method we need to get product not found exception okay slash 1 we don't have any products initially right we didn't save till now still i'm uh, running that get product by id method now see i'm sending request see we got product not found exception same exception we have specified in this here product not found exception we, we have returned in controller advice class exception class okay see now we'll save one product we are we are using that post mapping right uh, to save that product we need to use post method here okay see here we need to specify only api slash products why i am telling like this is see here post mapping we didn't specify any endpoint uri we need to use up to products only that's why okay body ra json here we need to specify see object i have provided like this product object i have provided like this okay i'm sending request see this is a type bad request we are getting we'll see see here initially uh, sorry previously price we have specified double right uh, but i have specified uh, currency type see like this i have specified that's why we, we got that exception whenever i have removed that it stored okay then one more product will store okay two id i have taken two a uh, pencil i have taken same will update one more time i am sending request see it is storing in map right see whatever we have seen till now find all we have seen get product by id we have saved and update product we need to check before that we'll check get uh, get all products once again okay send see we have stored two products one is pen and pencil we are getting get product by id slash 1 we need to provide right and point uri see one product details we are getting like this and update product we need to check right put for updating first product see id i am specifying 3 okay pencil to stationery and cost of this application uh, pencil i am providing as 100 see we, i am sending request we will see now for initially product one details id one name pen 
description same and price 10 rupees. Now it needs to be modified like this. See, ID then modified and name and description modified. Why? Because ID is same for old and new also, right? When we need to update that other details, not ID, right? That's why it didn't modified. See, I am running get all products now. How it is displaying? Sending request for get all products. See, it is modified, right? Update product also working. So, see, then we need to delete that product, right? Here we need to select delete. Delete. We need to provide that product ID in URL and sending request. See status key, sorry status code is 200 but we didn't return any information. Check here. Here we are returning void. That's why we didn't see any information over there in postman. This is simple Spring Boot REST application without configuring DB. Okay. If you want this code please let me know in comment section. I will upload into Good. Okay. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you want to get more videos. Okay. Thank you.